In today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick and simple method for your any low end or high end PV, how you can improve your PV performance, make your PV more responsive and faster, and how you can increase your FPS in any game with your any low end PV or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel, and if this is your first time here, so please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and let's get started. So guys, in the first step, you have to download the software on your PC because it will help us to improving and doing all of this stuff. So let me first show you what the software will perform and how it will help us to improving our PC performance for game. So guys, you have to go into your task manager and go straight into the uh, performance tab of your task manager and go into the open resources window and there you will find out here under the memory tab here we got over standby memory you can check it out here memory that contain cache data and code that is not active in use this is the data which is not active in use and we need to clear this data on our pc therefore we can get more performance and make our pc free from other tasks expect except gaming so guys for that you have to follow this video and it will help you to improve in your pc performance so first guys you have to download this tool on your pc link available down in the description simply go on my website and search for empty standby list and you will find out this article with the post you have to simply download this tool and once you download you have to put it on your desktop create a new folder and name it empty standby list once you do it now you have to open up this file go for the properties of the file and make sure to run this application as the administrator right so check mark on this box under the compatibility then hit apply click ok and close out this file now you need to simply copy this file or cut it from this location you need to now open up your file explorer and go straight into the c drive and paste here your this copied command or this copied file once you paste it here now you need to uh, go for task scheduler on your windows so it will work with the windows 10 or 11 it doesn't matter so you have to open up task scheduler and make sure to run this as administrator so once you you run this uh, task scheduler now you need to go for this create task and we are gonna create a new task you need to name it anything like i am typing here ripex weeks and you also need to put here the same name and once you do this thing now you need to uh, go for change user or group tab then go for advanced option and click on the find now button once you click here so here you will find out search results and all this list scroll down and find out the system tab now you need to select out this option then you have to click on this double tap here and add here system once you add it here now you need to click on this ok button once you click ok now here we got over run with the privileges so check mark here and here we got hidden check mark here and don't change any other settings from here now you need to go into this trigger tab go for this new option and now you have to follow it so first go for this option which is uh, repeat every task so you have to check mark here go for this option and set it on to the lowest value like five minute then here we got for duration we want to trigger this application or run this application you need to set it on to indefinitely and enable the settings from here now click on to this ok button go for the next tab which is the action and go for this new tab again now go for this browse option go for this pc local dc go for this folder and you need to simply click on this open button and once you add this location into this list now click ok again and click ok once again and here you will find out over this task is successfully added here now let me just show you what it will perform so now you need to simply close out the task scheduler again open up task manager go into the performance tab go for your open window resources and here you can check it out here over standby list is now a 10 gb so now let me just run it manually go into your drive and now you need to double tap here and once you double tap so here you can check it out here over standby list will be uh, cleared so right click run this at administrator then click yes and here you can check it out here over standby list is now cleared and guys by this method you can guys run it automatically after every five minutes and it will help you to optimizing your pc performance so i hope so you love this tutorial so please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification and then let the next video peace out Let's get me legal.